Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about the basics of composite components. We're going to see what is a composite component, how to create one, we're going to edit its properties and add events. So let's get started. First of all, we can think of composite components as a junction of many different components in one. You can find composite components ready-made in the composer here. As you can see, I have uh, listed some here so you can understand what we're talking about. Even if it is less likely to create a composite component than using one, we're going to see how to create. So the first thing is to get a container and then we can add anything we want. For example, we can have a headline and an icon. We can turn this container into horizontal laid out and align the components in the center. So let's say that we want to turn this container into a composite component. To do that, we have to go to properties and use this button convert to new component. And OK. Now we're in the editor of the composite component. So if we check any other composite container, we can see that in the properties, there are different properties for that container. If we want to add such properties in our container, we can go on to the composite component, click this button to open the editor. Next, we can go to properties, add new property, and we can call it title. Now there are two ways to bind this property to the component you want. We can do it from here. This is the content of the title. Or we can go here, click on the title and bind its content to the composite property title. We can also set a preview value. We can now exit the editor by double clicking in this area or pressing the exit button. Now let's say that you want to use one of these ready-made components and for example you want to register a tab on uh, the icon. To do that we have to create an event, bind it in the tab event of the icon in the composite component. So let's do that now. We will open the editor. Uh, we want to go to properties, events, and add a new event. Let's call it icon tab. After that, we want to go and click on the icon. And in the component tab, we want to add a trigger event. We want to go and use the icon tab event that we just made, exit the editor and go on the logic editor of this component and add a receive event. We can choose the event of icon tab and then it's up to you to connect anything you want to this event. Lastly, let's see one more detail that I think it's important to know. In a previous video, we used the input field to add this extra information because we wanted to use it as a phone number input field. But as you can see, from now on, every input that we use has this appearance. To change that, we need to edit the original component and we can delete this so what we're trying to do is bring this component to its original state now any input field we use has this appearance so let's say that we want to change back and create one different component to do that, 
we need to go in the editor and click this button clone as a new component okay so from now on we can change this specific composite con component without changing any future input fields that we use to prove that we can go on to add a container set it to horizontal and make it as previously so if we exit the editor and add a new input field you can see it's now as the original so these are the information you need to know about composite components. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more.